My name is Sean O'Brien, and I'm the new director of the Information and System Sciences Laboratory at HRL. I've wanted to be a scientist almost as long as I can remember. I fell in love with science fiction and science fact uh, when I was very young. I announced when I was about 12 years old uh, that I wanted to be a, an astrophysicist or, or some kind of uh, scientist. I graduated from, from Boise State and then uh, went off to grad school at Iowa State University in the Midwest and uh, got my PhD in astrophysics. Worked at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore as a postdoctoral research fellow. Uh, back in the uh, early 2000s, and then taught at Yale for a couple of years. After 9-11, I decided I wanted to do something more impactful in terms of uh, security and the future of humanity. Northrop Grumman was looking for physicists to solve very, very hard problems, and I spent the next 17 years or so uh, working in that world, um, working on artificial intelligence what they discovered and what you know, I sort of helped them to discover, in fact, in some ways, was that for Department of Defense missions, you know, the minimum viable product is often not enough. You need deeper science, you need new processes, uh, and to really turn artificial intelligence into, you know, a truly tractable and engineered thing. I also had a lot of the pieces parts here at the Information uh, Systems and Sciences Laboratory to really make that into a reality, to really take artificial intelligence to the next level, as they say, and turn it into something, you know, tractable, reliable, trusted, you know, and, and of course, not just artificial intelligence, but all sorts of, of, you know, wonderful technological areas in the information sciences fields. I fell in love with Star Trek first. My wife is absolutely Star Wars. She's, she's on the Star Wars side. Um, but if, if I had to choose one, I think I would have to choose Star Trek. I love the optimism of Star Trek. It's really the, the vision that Star Trek presents of the future is one where humanity and beyond humanity are working to explore the universe you know, together. And, um, and, and that's what they do. Star Trek is really, is really kind of my, my number one love. The job that I, that I had uh, growing up uh, in Idaho was as a cowboy, a professional cowboy. My, my literal title was Buckaroo. Uh, I've got many very interesting, colorful stories <laughs> from those days about the people I worked with and the things we did. My immediate goal at ISSL is, is, first of all, of course, not to break anything that's working well, right? So, that, you know, first do no harm to really determine how we can go and, and just attack the future in order to, to, you know, change the world for the better. I mean, that's, that's why we're all here, I think. And that's why HRL, I think, really exists, is to create that kind of change. So the, for the first year, I want to figure out how to really move toward that, you know, where we want to go and how to move toward that.